let's say good morning to my garden together. Hi guys! Welcome to just, uh, what is it? Just keep growing. My gardens grew a little bit and um, I now take care of a community garden. So I'll show you around a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me, it's bright and early here. And uh, I got a whole lot planted yesterday with some help from some volunteers. So that was really, really nice. Got some onions here, lots and lots of peppers, different types of hot peppers. I got regular bell peppers over there as well, but some string beans, tomatoes. Now this is marked as a hybrid tomato, but I've never seen a tomato vine like this. If you know what these are, let me know, because I haven't a clue. <laughs> I've never seen a tomato do that before. So, yeah. Now, let's see here. These are the Amish, um, what are they called? Amish paste tomatoes. They're supposed to be great for sauces as they don't have uh, much liquid in them. They're more fleshy tomatoes. Here's some hot peppers. They're doing great. I still have to nutrient everything. Um, this is all just me planting stuff because <laughs> it needed to get into the dirt as quick as possible. These are going to be watermelons. I'm looking forward to that. Never seen watermelons grow before. So that should be fun. And then we got some cucumbers here. <clears throat> I'm going to get some twine to help the ones in the back here go up. Cool, eh? So those are some climbers. We have some sage and Thai basil in this one. It's starting to come back, slowly but surely. Ro or the rosemary, I had to take some out because they were dead dead. The dill, we've got one living. <laughs> That's the rosemary. Chives, they really need uh, more planted. <laughs> Now here, I've been told these are a tomato, but they look like a potato to me. I don't know. Guess we'll have to wait and see once it flowers. <laughs> Those are some more chili peppers over there. And this is going to be all the herb garden. So this is all like oregano, parsley, chives, basil, some dill. And over here we had a donation of some, oh, what are they? Um, this might be like a, a turnip, maybe? We're not 100% sure. Those are, uh, what are they called? Crawling onions. And then some chives. And then over here, I planted a strawberry patch, for, probably for next year. Now I've been told that we need some pollinators in here, so I've got some flowers going. And then, yeah, four strawberry plants. And then we got a couple of empty beds. Just three empty beds right now, but I'm waiting on a big donation. So these are some more peppers, all different kinds. And these are all bell peppers. Uh, I believe they're going to be green and yellow bell peppers. Over here is some uh, giant gourd and beefsteak tomatoes. The fact that I remember what everything is blows my mind. <laughs> this is a family plot for one of my neighbors. Uh, she's helping me out. So there's some eggplant and peppers and tomatoes and more peppers in there. And then I think this is our last one, yeah. Just a mix of some tomatoes and eggplant over there. But other than that, this is, uh, this is my garden, guys. <laughs> Let's see here, let me flip you around for Hi. So, um, yeah, this is what I've been doing, uh, growing my garden. And this is going to feed all the community uh, at the food bank. So what happens is um, I do have like one, like I said, one plot set aside for uh, somebody to grow their garden. Uh, the food bank has asked the other people that wanted gardens if they still want them. And I guess they think it's too late. <clears throat> so it's all mine. Well, not really mine, but you know what I mean. I'm growing it for everybody else. Isn't this awesome? It's uh, 
it's a lot of work though. I'm sore, but I've been getting a lot of um, people helping, so that's nice. Every day, at least one or two ladies are coming to help, so that's great. That helps me uh, get everything planted. Yesterday was wonderful. I had two ladies come, and they got everything planted, so that was absolutely fantastic. Everything's in the dirt now. I'm just waiting on one big donation today, um, and then any other space that I have, I have a farm on standby that's ready to give me anything I want. <laughs> So um, this is how you do a community garden, guys. You just ask the farmers um, and they are more than willing to help out. And that's what I've been getting my donations from. I live in farm country and uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of great uh, companies have, or even first families, you know, families own the farm. So they're coming out and really assisting and, and helping get these plants in the ground. Um, it's just the community that's getting them in the ground and it's the farms that's donating the plants. So. And some people too. <laughs> it's just been a great experience all around and I hope you continue watching because it's gonna grow pretty big. I hope. We'll see. See y'all later. Bye!